We need to dig this up. Let me listen. I'm digging it. I'm excited about tonight. It's going to be good. I know. I mean, the more money we raise, the more kids are helped. So how much time before this shindig starts? Just a couple of hours, really. OK. We're kind of getting down to it. What is going on out there? Uh, Missy, there's a problem. I, I need you to take a look. I, no. Outside? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of an emergency. Look at that. I knew there was something in here. What? Are you serious right now? Babe. Oh, yeah. Surprise. Eh? Babe! Treasure! Dinner tonight. Like 20 something people are coming. We agreed no more big holes in the yard. It's not that big of a hole. You're going to have to clean all this up. Okay. All of it up. You look like a supermodel, babe. I like your dress. He's always hunting something. She didn't even look. I mean, this is, what do you think this is? Guys and gals, welcome to today's podcast. I am so excited. We're fixing to start a new project. I am on fire about this new project. Podcast, I didn't even know what they was to begin with. Look, for some reason, people like to hear me talk, okay, which is weird to me, but hey, guess what? Because I've got a podcast. I've got three special guests today that's going to be here. I can't wait, okay? Y'all even know where we're going? We go down here and take a left. The last couple of years, everything's going great. I'm still with my lovely wife, married over 30 years. My kids are all getting big to the point of where I'm fixed to be a grandpa. That's weird. All right, boys, these are special guests, okay, for today. Jace, Jeff, and then I'll let Jace introduce the real treasure hunter. That's our new project. My newest venture is the quest for treasure, treasure hunting. My wife said it best, I'm always hunting something. The real treasure hunter is yeah. Mr. Murray Crow. We've become partners in this venture. I'm Claude Murray Crow, Jr. I've known the Robertson clan for over 20 years. I've been treasure hunting since 1971, and I guess, I guess you could say I'm a bit of an expert. He taught me pretty much everything I know about digging in the dirt. Most people, when they think of metal detecting, they think of a fat guy walking down the beach picking up a few coins. What we're doing is a whole nother level. We have sophisticated equipment, we have charts and maps of old history, and we're going and finding things possibly worth millions of dollars. All right, Jace, hey, you, you're, we're known as duck hunters. How did you get into all this stuff here? My wife and I bought an old place. Murray, he was like, well, you mind if I come metal detect it? And I was like, do what? I, I wasn't even familiar with the term. I said, metal detect. And I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do this. But then, Murray, you got diagnosed with cancer, and then every time you would have some some free time or wanted a distraction, he would call me. I just felt like it was kind of destiny at that point. So I started tagging along with Murray, and my primary reason was to help him feel better and, and just make every moment count. But the more we did it, the more I got hooked on the actual treasure hunting. Right now, I'm cancer-free, but even though the cancer's gone, <laughs> the treasure hunting remains. You can actually find more than what you would think. I've hunted Civil War sites. You know, I've got cannonballs. I have meteorites. I found gold, numerous relics. Some of them, who knows what they're worth. This is what we're looking for. This is the real deal. I think everybody kind of has their own 
thing that drives them to do it. I like being outdoors hunting something of value. Murray, you just like the relics. You're a history buff. I'm more stories. interested in the history part of it. I mean, the history is cool and the journey, I get it, but I got to I gotta get paid, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got five kids. Show me the money. Show me the gold nuggets That's it. and Show bars. Show me the money. I'm with you. I'm definitely the rookie of the group. At first, I thought it was so dumb, but when I found my first cool thing, it was an old Indian head penny. I was hooked. I mean, the cool thing is, you can retire doing this. Hey, look, people have got wind of what y'all are doing, okay, and they're sending tons of letters. I get them every day in the mail. I get them, too. And they're saying, look, come find our treasure. I'm getting this stuff from the fans. Here's one. Dear Si, big fan of the podcast, and I got a hot tip on some buried treasure. Have you ever heard of Jim Bowie Relay Station? Yes, I have. It's out by the Duty Ferry in Enterprise, Louisiana. I know where that's at. Yep. Okay, I do too. There was a restaurant there. They had the finest steak in the world. Really? Well, we'd eat, oh, yeah, we'd eat lunch there every day. But anyway, let me finish reading this. Okay, <laughs> this is where people like Jim Bowie lived in the area. Legend has it that the Natchez Indians stuffed gold into the barrels of two cannons and rolled them into the creeks or lakes around the area. Just a tip. Good luck. I like that, okay, because, hey, I've been there, okay. If that thing was built in the 1800s, hey, we need to go look for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird anything, story. Is there anything to what he just said? Yeah, he, he's correct. Those stories, I, they're in my research books, so all that's accurate. We need to go check this out. This relay station sounds interesting. This is awesome. We'll all go. But hey, I ain't going. Hey, look, I'm the brains of this outfit. Y'all the muscle. You wouldn't send your general, okay, that's got the battle strategy out to the battlefield on the front lines. I've got to keep my mind clear for when they do bring me the gold that I can count it. You line it up, I'll you organize it, it hey, and we'll it. go right. do the work. All right, there you go. Mr. Murray, how much do you think that could be worth? It could be worth 10 to 20 million, maybe more. I like your figuring, son. We fix to get filthy rich on this baby. <laughs> I hope this tip is a good one because I'm pumped about this place. Every now and again, Si is right. That's, that's the thing. So today, the plan is for me, Murray, and Jeff to find this hidden gold somewhere in the hills of Enterprise, Louisiana, via Jim Bowie's relay station. Well, here it is, the duty ferry. I love the idea that you have to get on a ferry to get to the destination. That means there's not a lot of traffic, and this place is probably historical. We're doing it. Whoa! Oh my goodness, what was that about? That's like got a hitch on it. Yeah. That's really cool. Let's go get that gold, boys. Stacks on stacks on stacks on stacks. I can feel the coin flowing oh, down. Good I job. can smell the gold, boys. <laughs> yeah. Good job, gentlemen. Yep. I mean, from what I understand, the Jim Bowie Relay Station was a a stagecoach stop, so every few miles you changed horses, you got something to eat, they cooked for them, put them up overnight. I don't know, Murray, what do you think? I mean, that's got a tin roof on it. They didn't, when did they come up with tin? There's a the man we're looking hey, for guys. out there. How we doing? How you doing? I'm Jace. Brad Coleman. And Murray Crow, is this your place? This is my place, yes, sir. What do you fix the build there? It used to be a restaurant, the restaurant burned down in December of 2012. This place here used to be an experience. You know, we had live entertainment and things like that. Had gospel one night, country another night. They'd walk, walk through the, all these old buildings. Well, uh, how old are these buildings? They're actually not really that old. Oh, um, really? When, they, when did they build? Um, they started probably back in 1996. It's kind of like a, a replica town, I guess you'd call it, like a replica old west town. Si, a replica is a copy of something. It's not the something. You you come here, you eat your good steak, 
Yep. And you basically experience what the 1800s. What the 1800s uh -huh. was like, yeah. This place is cool for a nice family outing, but that's not what we're here for. Brad, look, we're looking for, for gold, and I have stories about gold being buried in this parish. You ever heard of any of that? Yes, sir, being in these parts, they say over at White Sulphur Springs, which on the other side of Roberts Hill, they spend a lot of time over there. That's the old folklore anyway. So White, you say in White Sulphur Springs? White Sulphur Springs, yes, sir. Okay, well, tonight I'll get on that and we'll see what there is to know about it. Let me know how it works for you. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is a disappointing start. And there's only one person to blame for that. Hello? Sir. Hey, y'all come here. Oh yeah, I've been dying to talk to him. Hey, first question. Did y'all order the best steak in the world down there from that steakhouse? Uh, I hate to tell you this, but this restaurant burned down 10 years ago. It's a replica. This is not old. Wait a minute, what do you mean replica? Son, hey, that is the place. He, he maybe don't know what replica means. This place was built in 1997. That's when I graduated high school, son. Hey, look, boys, hey, trust me when I tell you this. You gotta persevere, son. Look, none of this is my fault, okay? I can't keep up with it over a 100-year period. So things happen. It's life, boys. Get used to it. If we find this, we'll uh, never work another day in our life. There is no we in us. Hey, you're talking to the man that outfitted this outfit. You'll right? get nothing and like it. Love uh, you. No. Call me Love later. you, son. Call me later. Call me later. We're going to head back to our war room, and I'm going to spend most of the night probably, and I'm going to see what this White Sulphur Springs is all about. It may be the clue we were looking for. I like this. I think this is going to be awesome. Yeah, nervously excited. I was up most of the night researching the tip we got about White Sulphur Springs, and we might really be on to something here. It's located in LaSalle Parish, which tracks with the stories of where the Natchez Indians could have buried the cannons full of gold in the 1700s. Well, the good thing is Murray has all the big gear. You know, that's what he finds the meteorites with. Like, yeah, this... if there's anything way down, we're going to find it. On top of that, White Supper Springs was a bustling little town that was frequented by many people in the 1800s. This town was built around a natural spring that supposedly had some healing powers, kind of like a fountain of youth. So there's different layers of history on this property, which is exactly what we're looking for as treasure hunters. Well, I'm glad you made it, Murray. Yeah, man, this is the place, huh? Hey, how y'all doing? Um, All right. Can I help y'all? Well, we hope. Yeah. It's good to meet you. I'm Jace. I'm Jeff. Y'all them duck yeah. hunters, Howdy. huh? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. 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 Treasure hunters have a general ethical code that we go by, and one of the most important things is you must get permission from the landowner to go hunt their place. This is kind of like rolling up and seeing your blind date. You're not sure which way this is going to go. Well, what can we do for y'all? Well, we're actually treasure hunters. We find lost treasure. And we actually think, based on the maps and the research, that y'all may be living on a place that's holding a lot of treasure. Awesome. <laughs> How long have y'all lived here? My family has been here since the 1870s. So where was this town? Uh, th according to my grandparents, the town was right up there where the gazebo still stands. It had three hotels, it had saloons, dance halls, schoolhouses. People came from all over because they thought the water had healing powers. They brought crutches out just by the truckloads because they supposedly was cured of their oh, illnesses, really? yes. Huh. I mean, are you guys really like 147 years old? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just look like you're 35? No, but... <laughs> now, your grandparents drank that water. My grandparents drank the water, but not me. Huh. So what about this treasure? Yep. How big I mean, are they? Millions. The Natchez Indians stole two cannons and, and gold at the same time, and they filled the cannons full of the gold coins and then buried it or rolled it off in a creek. There's two accounts of that. So, wow, here we are. You think you guys might let us go look? Well, let's talk about the negotiations now. All right. I'm kind of a 50-50 guy. 
skill set landowner. Y'all approaching us, right? We are approaching you. How about we how about we do 80-20? I mean, but you look at this man's rig, you can tell he's got a lot of toys that can help us find treasure. And we don't have that. We may possibly can work out something. We have two boys, so we may let y'all hunt if y'all take our boys duck hunting, maybe. Oh, what a deal. Okay, and we, may, we may can work on something. There we go. Deal. <laughs> yeah. What about 60-40 and the boys get a duck hunt? Deal. Is that good with you? Let's see what yeah. we can find. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah. Check okay. Right. Good go deal. Let's go check this out. I like this deal. So where do you think... Oh, I see the gazebo. Yep. So that was where the spring is. Yes. Yeah. That's supposedly the healing water. I am super pumped to see the Fountain of Youth. Like, I, I'm a believer. I, I think there's, like, aliens. Hey, I mean, I, I believe in stuff like that. So this is where people came for their healing. Oh, boy. So this is the Fountain of Youth. Um... It looks like a toilet. We've, we've gotten as much trash as we can out of it, but our hopes are to, to have it bring it back to life. Time has not been kind here. Even though the Fountain of Youth is not what I thought it was going to be, it definitely proves that everything was there. There could actually be buried treasure on this property. Well, you guys have at it. I'm going home to get cooled off, and y'all enjoy. Show me the treasures. All right. Thank you. Let's go. This is where the good stuff ought to be. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. It's way harder than it looks to find treasure with a metal detector. So we have a big metal detector that's sending a sound to our ear. We want it dinging, like bing, 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 not rah, 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 rah. Two. No good, no good. Good. And we want a number to pop up on our display that coordinates with the sound that's hitting our ears. So a possible lead target here. A nickel will be 52. Aluminum will be up in the 80s. The higher the number, the more excited we are. Hey, I got something right here. Hey, right. this is 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Oh. Five minutes into the hunt, and all of a sudden, my detector went bloop. Uh oh, dig it up. Oh, I'm digging it up. You are not going to believe what I just found. This is 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. Whoa. Dig it up. Oh, I'm digging it up. It's in here. Look at it. What is it? Hi. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I told yeah. you. Oh. You are not going to believe what I just found. Hey. Half dollar. You're baby. lying. Hey, my hands. How shake. lucky can you be? Oh my goodness. What does that say? I'm literally shaking. Look at this thing. It 1877. Woo! Oh man. I'm shaking. I didn't even find it. I mean, this is a rare coin, and I've never found a half dollar this old, and only a few coins anywhere near this number. That's what we're looking for. So I'm super excited about this. Oh, Dude. Man. <laughs> Dude. oh geez, I mean, look at yeah, this that's thing. A, that's the seated Liberty. I didn't even know we had these. 1877. <laughs> you were the luckiest oh. dog oh, I ever my saw. Goodness. My I don't know how, how much is that it. worth. That's <laughs> worth a couple grand. I yeah. guarantee you, that's worth at least a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Oh, shut up. The seated liberty appeared on most silver coinage minted in the U.S. from around 1836 to 1891. This is like top five coins I've ever found. It's actually worth about three or four hundred dollars in the right condition, which is really a rare find. Oh yeah, 
That's what you find out here. Jeb, what'd you find? Some kind of aluminum. You gotta start somewhere, Jeb. Jeb is a rookie. Or newbie. Newbie, rookie, beginner. He's all of the above. How does a beer can get 10 inches on the ground? <laughs> Cleaning up the environment. I think the best story about Jep treasure hunting was the first story. He showed up, he had no gear, he had sandals on. I let him borrow my boots because that's the only other pair of shoes that we had. And I said, hold the metal detector away from you when you're looking because they were still toe boots. And he spent the first two hours of the hunt digging up his own feet. What the heck? What you got? The bottom of the can. Yep. Welcome to the club, newbie. I just want to have one story of my own where I am the magic man. That's all I'm looking for. Whoa. Oh, boy. Silver. He just found another silver. Dead gummy. That jerk. 1857. All right. Whoa. It says half dime on it. Half dime is one of the smallest coins ever minted. They only made them till 1873, so it's not a lot of them out there. Today's values of a half dime could be $400. It's a great find. Jeff. You want to check this half down out? No. Here we go. I like this. Jace has found an 1877 Seated Liberty half dollar and now a half dime, and he's on a roll. But I'm looking for iron signals and high numbers that could be the cannon barrel full of gold. Bell's Pine Tar. When you find something you've never found before, you look it up. What do I have here? Huh, look at this. Dr. Bell's Pine Tar. Honey, Paducah, Kentucky, E.E. E. Sutherland, 1899. Look, it was inside this bottle. Finds like this may not be worth hundreds of dollars like the coins I found, but what you're getting is a window into life 150 years ago, and you're holding it in your hand. It's not a cannon filled with gold, but we love this. Look at this. A home remedy works good on anything. Turns out that this is some kind of honey concoction that evidently people would take for their various ailments, which is probably why they're visiting the Fountain of Youth. Come on down to Suffer Springs. For whatever the water don't cure, this will. We got a 100% guarantee. Honey, it works on everything. People came here to be refreshed. We're out here treasure hunting, and it's over 100 degrees. I'm in dire need of refreshment. Break time. It's hard in the summer. Murray just goes on, he's just an animal, he's a beast. He is a beast. He survived cancer, and he's out there just combining. He's not human. I forgot how hard it is, super rusty. Oh, Sa, he's checking in, he's checking on us. Si? Yeah, what's going on, how we doing? <laughs> how we doing? <laughs> how you doing? Yeah. I'm sitting there taking a break. I know how hot it is, guys, okay? <laughs> Are you in an air-conditioned room right now? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. So I gotta keep these guys lined out. They're not focused. And the most important thing is, hey, have you found a goal yet? Well, let me tell you what I found. All right, what'd you find? I found an 1877 half dollar. Hey, that's a good sign. Get fired up a little bit, guys. <laughs> No, I am fired up, but I'm taking a break because it's 110 degrees. Y'all need to get near their feet and cool off. Okay. Okay. I know it's hot out there, okay? So look, hey, make sure you stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, and then if you get too hot, hey, 
jump in the creek and cool off for crying out loud. Use your head, you big dummies. All right, we'll keep you posted. All right, man, appreciate it, guys. <laughs> He's crazy. All right, let's go to the creek. Oh, boy. That's it. Come on, baby. Do your thing. Fish on. Hey, I'm on the board. You know, treasure hunting, just like fishing, like you may find something, you may not. But in the end, it's fun just hanging out with your boys. Honestly, it's just about having fun. Dead man floating. Oh, wow. That looks refreshing. Where's your fish at? I'm throwing back. <laughs> this changed my life. This, these are magical. Do I look younger? Well, except for the gray in your beard. Do I look slimmer? You do, because you have the lower two thirds of your body <laughs> under the water. Well, I say let's give the gold one last hurrah. Let's break out the big equipment. Let's break out the Sheila 5000, boys. The guys caught some fish. They cooled off. And now maybe they're ready to go back to work. So we're going to pull out the big gun, and we're going to see if we can find the deep stuff, the big stuff, this afternoon. All right, turn. Go that way and turn it around. So this is Big Sheila? Big Sheila. Did you make that? Affectionately, yeah, I made it. If I want to go deep after something, this is what I get out. You know how a lot of men like to name their sailboat after their wife? Well, I don't have a sailboat, so I named my big metal detector after my wife, Sheila. Obviously, it can't have any metal on it, right? It can't be like Jep's steel-toed boots. Everything on this thing is plastic. Murray is an expert treasure hunter and a brilliant historian. He's also a world-class inventor. This is the coil, just like the one you hunt with. It's just stretched around this PVC frame. He invented the spinning wing decoy that's been used everywhere that people duck hunt. It became one of the most famous things ever bought in the duck hunting arena. Like, this dude is awesome. Well, this is about my fourth generation. I mean, the first one didn't look this nice, but... This nice? This nice, yeah. Oh, this, is the, this is the, <laughs> this the is crown the... jewel of the Dang, metal detector I'm glad world. the first couple that you dated, we didn't get to meet. That's right. But I gotta be honest. When I saw a bunch of duct tape PVC pipe come out of the back of his truck, I'm like, this is the big invention? This is Big Sheila? Turn Where's the, the sensor at? Yeah, just put it across the top of it. You don't have to be on it. Oh, you getting that? Yep. Look. Yep. This is the beginning of a song. You want to see it? I could just stay here. You wonder why I act a little strange every now and then, right? Yeah. You listen to this all day. So you were listening to rock and roll music, and all of a sudden, next thing you know. We are gonna find the gold. We are gonna find the gold. We are gonna find the gold. Crowd goes wild. All that right, I like it. Cool. I'm impressed that it does anything. Right, that turns right, you let's off. go okay. find the gold. Okay. This actually may work. My apologies. Oh, it's going to work. Find the gold. So you just gonna kind of make lines? I'm just gonna go, yeah, that's what I usually do, is just cut oh. the it off. What is that? There's iron. That's iron? Yeah. After treasure hunting all day, I'm gonna tell you, riding around this wheeler, watching Sheila work, is pretty dang nice. Uh-oh, something else here. I know Big Sheila is the secret weapon. I just have to be that guy that says, prove it to me. Uh-oh. In the meantime, I'm going to do what I know how to do best. Oh my goodness. How cool is this? I think this is a boot spur. A lot of people, especially my brother, he's hunting only for things of value. But some of what we find, it's just cool. 
If you find a spur off of a boot that's 150 years old, that's just cool. Stop right there. So, there's a big signal. Look at that sucker. It's coming up. Uh, it's two, 62. Two, two big things right there. We've been riding around, ain't had much luck. But then all of a sudden, we get a good signal. Murray's eyes get real big, and he's like, there's something there. Ooh, 67. Mark it? Yeah, mark that. There we go. Let's try that out. And I get fired up, because when he gets fired up, I get fired up. <laughs> yep, right yep. here, Jeff. Hey! Hey! That's it. Right there, That's buddy. it. It's reading iron, which could be a cannon made of iron full of gold. I don't know what it is, but it's something good. All right. Uh-oh. You hit something, buddy. With every shovel of dirt, I'm thinking about my new houseboat, my two new sports cars, and my dog breeding business. It's all gonna happen. What's he got? Oh, it's just like brick. Oh. Hey, that's a shell fragment, man. Huh? Yeah, that's a piece a of shell a shell for cannonball. what? I mean, that's a piece of a cannonball? You betcha. What? Looks like a brick. This is a cannonball, son. Right. It's weird because looking at it, it doesn't look like much. If I'd have found this by myself, I'd have been like, this is junk. Luckily, Murray was there and he's like, this is part of a cannonball. That is cool. Cannonball fragment? Yeah. Cannonball fragment. You, you're probably thinking about a solid shot cannonball That's or what... solid. You yeah, know, they're just... solid. They're, they don't have a hollow place in them. When you see this, you're still looking at a cannonball. It just had black powder and shot inside it. This is crazy. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, if we have cannonball fragments, maybe we're not too far away from an actual cannon with or without gold, that interests me. Well, this is cool. The cannon we're looking for with the full of gold could have well fired that one right there. Well, how far could they shoot a cannon? Well, they would go half a mile. The well, smaller mile down. over See, by we the... Gonna, we're gonna have to be able to come back to go a half a mile. It may be the adrenaline talking, but I would like nothing more than to get back on Big Sheila and keep looking. But I know the search for the cannons, if they're here, could take a very long time. And we're running out of daylight. I would spend the rest of my life looking for that cannon. No man. kidding. That, that's, First that's, hour. That's, it's getting dark. We, we got to get out of here, but I'm feeling good about what I'm seeing. Oh, I found this. Look at this. This has writing on it. I didn't show you this. <laughs> I'm the only one that can see well, it. Well, what'd y'all find? Well, how are y'all? It's getting late. We thought we'd come check and see if y'all had found the honey hole. Murray did find some cannonball fragments. Oh, wow. All right, here's the fragments. I mean, the signs are here. I know that we're going to continue to hunt this land, and one day, who knows, we actually may find that gold. So we got a lot of stuff. I'm going to give you the precious right off the bat. 1877 half dollar. Man. Oh, wow. That's fantastic right there. What per, what 60 percent is y'all's and which 40 is all? <laughs> well, the, the half dollar would be good for me. Yeah. I'll just take it. <laughs> we'll divide it up. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. But the sun is going down, and I know y'all yeah, have got to be tired. We're beat. And my, our family has cooked up a catfish dinner. If y'all oh, would wonderful. like to join us, you're more than welcome to. In. Heck, yeah. <laughs> Southern hospitality at its best. Yeah. We went from strangers to friends in one day. Yeah. It's a good day. We would like for y'all to meet the boys that y'all are going to get to take duck hunting now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Jeffrey. What's up, this is Jeffrey. Y'all are duck hunters, huh? Hey, Somewhat, yes, sir. Murray Crow. Right. What treasure hunting has taught me is that looking for things in the past has given me a new perspective on the present. 
Man, Amazing. we hit we hit a treasure here for sure. I'm telling. Making new friends and being present with those you love, that's what makes life awesome. We want to thank y'all for y'all's hospitality. I'm gonna Amen. ask the Lord Almighty to bless tonight. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We're so grateful for how you work in our lives and just giving us life. And Father, uh, showing us what true treasure is. When you treasure hunt with somebody, you can really know who they are. You know, I knew Jeff and Jason, you know, since they were kids, but this has really brought us together. We're such close friends. I mean, I mean, we love each other. It's just that simple. Through Jesus we pray. Amen. 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 Let's eat. Let's eat. At times like this, I do get a little, a little emotional. I mean, I'm tearing up right now, and I don't do that, so. Yeah, Jace, I'm glad when y'all come up, I didn't just run y'all off. <laughs> Treasure hunting is a journey, and we own it, baby. All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast. The guys are back from the site. Okay, how did we do, and where's my cut? <laughs> we did well. We did not find the gold. All right, look, I'm going to let it slide this time, okay? But next time, okay, there may be a bit of penalty applied to these towns. We did meet an amazing family, and they gave us this opportunity for whenever we want to go back. I like it. We had this as an option. Yeah. We need more options. I've got a death full of letters, okay, that I hadn't even opened yet. The journey is just started. That was the signal for jackpot. Ding! Booyah! This season on Duck Family Treasure. You keep calling this hunting. Yeah. It's not even hunting season. It's hunting because we're treasure hunters. Most people, when they think of metal detecting, they think of a fat guy walking down the beach picking up a few coins. We're heading on an adventure. What we're doing is a whole nother level. Seems like a weird place to find jars full of gold. We have sophisticated equipment. Come to me, baby. Maps of old history. X marks the spot. And we're looking for things possibly worth millions of dollars. I want to hit the mega jackpot here, buddy. <laughs> I hear that Jason and Jeff are like obsessed. They are. That's a soft word. They yes. always. Hey, Booyaka! What is that? That's just crazy. You really don't know what you're gonna find. What in the world is that? But that's the thrill of the hunt. What? You know how long I've been looking for that? You could find one thing. Woo! You ain't gonna believe this. And that can change your life. <laughs> I've heard stories about people wanting to find them. Money dance! And it's in my hand. No way! And the crowd goes, yes! <laughs> your ching ching, okay. I got something, Mom. Get ready. <gasps> A Rolex watch? Treasure hunting is not always about finding stuff. Let her rip! Oh, boy, that was fast right there, boy. To me, it's all about the journey. It's about who you're with. This is good as it gets. <laughs> it's about the people that you meet. That was like a 99. You gotta catch you on quick. Oh! And the opportunity when I find things. Oh! To experience joy. Wow! <laughs> and share that with someone else. I think it's the definition of treasure. Thank you for blessing us with this incredible family, and that is the true treasure. Amen. Amen. <laughs>